Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. Today we're going to be shooting some 12 gauge wax slugs. The one ounce of bird shot that was in this round was mixed with hot wax and poured back into the shell to create a large frangible round. This is the target for today. This is an AR-500 body armor plate. It's supposed to stop uh, up to like 30-06 rifle rounds. The black texture coating on it is kind of like a really thick bed liner that's supposed to capture all the bullet fragments. We'll see how that works with a wax slug. Darren is using a Benelli Nova with a 28 inch barrel. Oh my god! Oh my! <laughs> we were very surprised at how well this large one ounce slug was absorbed into that Paxton coating. Now bear in mind this round is about the size of the tip of your thumb. Very large round carrying a lot of energy. And you can see some of the shot kind of spitting out the hole, but we didn't see any spalling at all or splattering of that fragile round. Left a pretty good size hole in that coating. And you can see how the coating has bulged out a little bit. And if we flip the plate over, you can see there's no deformation at all of the backside of the plate. Next we'll be shooting just a plain steel plate to show you what spalling looks like with a wax slug. Whenever you're ready. Wow. Wow. This is a good example of how much spalling a wax slug does. You can, if you can see all that, I don't know if you can radiating out from there. But um, that's what a wax slug, this is a, the ball bearing that we shot a, a couple months ago. So a ball bearing, man, that, that, I love those things, man. Those things were just yeah. very accurate. Yeah. So that's what a wax slug, a one ounce wax slug does to a steel plate. I wanted to show how close this little camera is to this plate. Um, I would normally never put a camera that close to anything that would spall, but uh, I have no worries with these AR-500 plates. Whenever you're ready. Jeez. <laughs> The second shot went pretty much the same as the first shot. The round hit just a couple inches away from the first one, where the coating was actually already bulged and kind of damaged. Uh, it totally absorbed the wax slug, and uh, there was no spalling. And uh, once again, we were just super impressed at the performance of this armor plate. So, How many rounds is it supposed to take repeatedly? <laughs> a lot. Really? Next, we're going to try shooting it at an angle. It's almost, I wouldn't, you know, maybe close to a 45 or so. And, um, yeah. You're in, the, you're in the sun there, son. But, um, see what, what happens if you, if you shoot one of these at an angle? I've never seen anyone uh, test that. So, we'll find out with a wax slug. Wow. I want to shoot up higher. Wow. Now to be fair, this plate has been hit twice already. The entire thing has already been compromised. It looked like the majority of the shot was captured in the Paxton coating. We saw a little bit of a, a powder residue from the wax. And upon examination, you can see where the round hit kind of sideways. And it started really ripping the coating apart from the steel plate. But still, it the whole test of this thing really impresses shooting it with wax slugs. I definitely want to thank the guys over at AR500 for sending us this plate. They contacted me and wanted me to shoot it with some unusual shotgun loads. And I thought the first good test would be a wax slug. For this test, we... We were mostly screwing around. We flipped it around the backside. We wanted to see how strong the back coating was. Ooh! Oh. 
Ooh. Normally there's a sticker that says face this side out, I believe it says. And uh, we, we took the sticker off on this for the testing. But you can see that the the slug hit the edge of that uh, steel stool, just ripped a big old V into the stool, and the shot just kind of dispersed underneath it and also blasted that real thin coating that's on the back side of this plate. So always make sure you put the plate in at the correct um, positioning.